Hi guys. So basically, this is a question from An Academy's uh, AIMT that is All India Mock Test, and uh, this is uh, I'm actively looking at the questions and are part uh, and is part of this uh, mock test uh, team and uh, bringing some good high quality questions uh, for you. So the next AIMT will be held at twenty eighth of August. So this is absolutely free mock for everyone. So do give this AIMT. I take regular analysis. I uh, correct all the students. Where do you? How do you attempt the paper? How you should have attempted this paper? What is the problem going uh, behind? If you know not scoring good marks, right? So all that we're discussing in this session. So do give this next AIMT on twenty eighth of August. Okay. So the so look at this question. This is a question uh, that was asked in last AIMT. It says that what is the minimum value of a square plus x six a plus eight divided by a a square plus x a plus seventeen? Okay. Its minimum value is p. Find the value of two forty eight p. So see the funda behind such question is whenever we say such kind of question in numerator and denominator. So what we do actually, uh, we kind of uh, we think that this numerator should be free with uh, this variables. Okay, on one side. For example, what I'll try to do is I'll try and make numerator and denominator same. Okay, that's my first step to solve such question. So once I try to make it same. I can write like a square plus a six a plus seventeen minus nine. I can write here and divided by a square plus six a plus seventeen. So I'll make numerator and denominator same. Now what will happen now? So if I if I divide this, this value will be one uh, minus nine by a square plus six a plus seventeen. And now if you see here. So I basically need to minimize this value. So this whole value I need to minimize. If this whole value I need to minimize, that means it is one minus something. So when you subtract something and this value you want to minimize on whole, that means this part here. So this part I should maximize, right? So this part I should maximize. Okay, because the more I subtract from one, the minimum it will get, है ना? So this this I should maximize. So while I'm maximizing this part, it is nine upon a a square plus six a plus seventeen. So there are multiple ways to maximize it. It's a quadratic equation. You can uh, for any quadratic equation, there are multiple ways to maximize it. How we can what you can do here is you can just write like this. For example, the first way to maximize it. So any quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is minimum at x equal to minus b by two a. Okay. Now why I'm saying minimum because if I want to, if you want to maximize this whole expression, this a is square plus six a plus seventeen is in denominator. So when you want to maximize this whole ex expression, so expression in denominator should be minimized. Okay. This should be minimized, right? So now a is square plus b x plus c is minimum at x equal to minus b by two a. Ah, huh. the method two is. Uh, directly, we tell that for a x square plus b x plus c, ah, uh, its minimum value is equal to four a c minus b square by four a. Directly, you get like get like this, and then the method three is uh, making it into a, a square form. So taking this into a square form will also take up this. So I'll basically taking up this square form. Uh, that's uh, that's how we solve such questions. Okay. So I'll be taking a square form to solve this question. See, so what I want to do here, I want to maximize this value. Uh, sorry, minimize this value. So a is square plus six a plus seventeen. I want to minimize. So what I'll be doing here is, I just want to make it a perfect in form of perfect square. So basically, it's uh, of the form a is square plus two uh, a b plus b is square. If you, this is equal to a plus b whole square. Now, if you compare with this, what I'll be getting is now a square is a square, two a b is six. That means I'll be getting b is equal to three, right? So this a plus b ka whole square becomes a plus three whole square. Now, what is a plus three whole square? A plus three whole square is actually a square plus six uh, a plus nine. So outside seventeen is there, so I can I can write a plus eight here. Okay, so I can write a plus eight. Okay. So now, basically, what I'm trying to say is this whole expression will become one minus nine by a plus three whole square plus eight. I know this. This will become okay. So now I want to 
minimize this part so we are already says, uh, saw that i need to minimize this part here so i need to minimize this part now this part will be minimum because this a plus 3 whole square is a perfect square so any square is always any square is always greater than equal to zero that means its minimum value is zero okay so this value this minimum value will be equal to zero and it is minimum at a equal to minus three so this can also be a question so it is minimum at a equal to minus three okay so I can, what i can do here is i can simply write here one minus uh, nine by eight that is equal to minus one by eight okay that means this is the value of p here no so that means this is the value of p so i need to find the value of 248p here so value of 248p will be equal to 248 into minus 1 by 8 this will get cancelled 31 times so my answer is minus 31 okay so that's the value of 248p and that's how you solve such questions so they can see that there are many such questions which I, you can replicate this concept of making numerator and denominator equal and then just solving this okay thank you we'll continue continue this questions in the next video hi guys and also give this uh, AIMT on 28th of August. So you can see there's such high quality of questions we have. Uh, and the 28th August uh, AIMT will happen from 12 p.m. The link you will find in description. So please enroll to the link and give this AIMT. Uh, from the same link, you'll be getting that mock test analysis also. And we'll be discussing all the questions and the strategy, how, to, how one should have attempted this test what are the, what were the key questions that needs to be identified in lrd in quant okay so all that we'll see in analysis okay so do give this amt on 28th of august guys thank you